going to be a duty belt update and um how to make a taser holster is going to be this week if not next week um so first i'm gonna start from here my cuff keys and my um hand cuffs i just carry through three of those so my hand cuffs right here viper check and right there and then i carry my gun my leg holster oh, let me take it out there. And I just got it from Walmart for ten dollars, and it come with this, this, and um, one of these, one of um the magazines, and it come with shells, but I don't um carry the shells in the um, magazines. And but this is you um you're not gonna actually find it like this, cause. I put this if you want if you want to buy this gun you're not gonna find it black or anything it's gonna be like green and orange I believe um so the um holster it was like a other part onto there for the magazine part but it was um it was ugly I didn't like it so I cut that off and then I had to fix uh, like the crack right there because there's something right there so I had to put that back together and then I just added this onto it so that the gun wouldn't fall out or anything. And um, that's my, um, this is my leg coaster. I just strapped this on and I have screws because this, all of this stuff is um, like, it's just this part. None of this is on here, so you just gotta lift it up, put it on your belt, and it's just gonna fall right off. So I had to fix that. Well, not fix it, just add something onto it. So you just slip your belt in there, but. Um, my leg strap onto this and this strap up onto my belt like that and um the magazine right there um carry one of these in there and um no shells nothing uh, don't keep those in there and it does have mag light but they um because in one of my videos um it was the one when they were playing basketball when I tackled the last person. Um, like I lent on my gun kind of and that cracked my gun holster and my gun so I had to buy a new one. And when I went to go buy a new one, they like upgraded the stuff. So the mag light, this is my old mag, like this didn't break. So like the um upgraded ones that I have but I don't use it, you gotta hold it. You gotta hold the buttons, keep the light on, but this one just click it and click it you just um click it once to turn it on click it again to turn it off so i just used my old mag like cuz i didn't feel like holding it holding the button for the light and um next i have my pair of chain cuffs um i think these are snake eyes something like that no fancy brand and um my cuff case and my baton it's just a duster like um cactus for I think this is the thing I had on my belt for the longest. Oh, and these. But this is the stuff um, I have for a really long time. All the time. And then my repel mic right here. I just glued this onto here and stuff. Um, don't know what it is. My radio, it, um, it worked, but I'm not going to take it out because it um, it's hard to buckle this back in because I have it like really tight so that this won't move so much. And um, my... Um, my taser is um the one i made but i need to like paint my holster back over because it's like very messed up i had this holster for a while um probably has to you guys uh, okay right there uh, this is the um my new taser or not really new but the one i made in my last um the one i made in the video how to make taser right here um, X2 and um, my mag pouch. Put this like my mom um, mag pouch I made. Well, not a, literally a pouch, but um, this is yellow from my taser. I guess I was scraping up against it. Like whenever I hold my taser, I hold it like down, so it's probably just scraping against there. So that's the pain. Um, I made this like. Four days ago, these are my three mags. They all go to the gun. 
So when you buy the gun, it comes with two, one um, spare one and one that goes in the gun. So when I bought the other one, I just kept the max. This one is actually in the gun when it broke, so this one can't go in that gun or else um, I'm gonna have to like break the gun to get this out of here. So this is broken, but I don't. Um, it's no point of me actually putting these in there using them. But so that's how I got four because one spare one and one that come in there. So when I bought my new one these two um and i got the other one so that's how i got four and my buckle right here and that's how i uh, separate them and my buckle and on to my vest um i have my police um badge or whatever this is where my repel mic hook up to and i bring it up around from my back it um just put it like this well, this reach over there. It reaches back like this, and but of course it's not in the front of me, and it's like right in there, and it stays there. And um, I carry a pin. This is just like a strap I got from Dollar Tree. So yeah, and I carry a pin on me, and my other police badge, and a flashlight. I just um keep it up there because I. Because if you paid attention on my old videos, I had like a different pouch right here. It was, I only carry one magazine in it and like gloves and my flashlight. But since I don't have that right there, I just got like a zip tie and put it on there. And you can take it off easy and then just put it back on. And um, I carry, it's falling, I should like put it. I set it down. Um, And then I carry, um, I made a body cam out of wood and just like spray painted it and then put like a um cut some tape that shape for like the switch on and off button i guess in the camera or I, this is all just taping and i colored on it and then that's um i just got paper and glued it onto there and wrote that on there and then i carry my mace up here this is um a very always easy to scratch up so it doesn't matter as long as it works here it's not real mace, I don't know what it is, but um I can get this back on here. And it's actually really orange, so it focus right here. And put that back. And um in the back, my vest. This is very big. If um you wanted to buy this vest, it'd be like very big. You'll have to do a lot of stuff. So I just um this is what I keep to like make it tighter. Keep these on here. And um I fold this thing I made. And um yeah, I believe that's like all. I'm gonna keep this up. I should have like put it on the water jug, like a three gallon water jug before I started the video, but um that's all of my stuff and how to make a taser will be out this week or next week. Um probably next week because this one is gonna be out um this week. So, just to, like, put them out in different weeks. And I just want to thank all you guys for all the good, um, for, like, um, yesterday, which is Saturday on my, um, Cops and Robbers episode 22, um, I seen the comment there, like, this is Cops and Robbers episode 23, the other one is too. The, um, reason I didn't put episode 22 or whatever, because it's just for fun, it wasn't actually an episode. And so, um... And I have like a lot of subscribers now, and some people be asking me in my real no. It's just, it's just for fun and all of that stuff. Um, I'm not real at all. It's just a game I play with my brothers and sisters, and I'm hit like yesterday. Um, I hit a thousand over a thousand views in like 38 minutes, 40 minutes. And I hit over a thousand views. That that's like that's. I don't even know how to explain it. That's crazy. Um, I just want to thank all you guys for that. And um, shout outs is always like on my Cops and Robbers video. So, and that's why I didn't, um, on my Just For Fun video, I didn't come say like, come down below if you want to shout out because it was just for fun. And so I went back on my other video and got the shout outs from there. But So that's um, all to this. And thanks for all the subscribers, views. Um, comments thumbs up and 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification button for real miss out on any of my new videos. Um, like this sometimes and my cops and robbers. And thanks for watching. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed.